Obviously, going to be a very cold evening for thousands of these Chiefs fans. Chopper 5 over Arrowhead Stadium now, where tonight the Chiefs will take on the Oakland Raiders in these frigid temperatures. And KCTV 5's Ellen McNamara is at the stadium where fans began arriving extra early today. Ellen, this is a big game for our Chiefs. Oh, Carolyn, this game is absolutely huge, and all eyes will be on Kansas City tonight. First place in the AFC West is on the line, so it means a lot to not only the Chiefs, but also, of course, the Raiders as well. And 1993 was the last year that both the Chiefs and the Raiders made the playoffs at the same time. So, again, it's been a long time since both of these teams have been so good, and each team can taste the playoffs. We are so close. Now, thousands of fans have come out here early despite the cold. It is cold, but everyone that I've seen that has come out here tonight, they are dressed, they're prepared, they are layered up. Carolyn, I dress kind of like I was going skiing today. So I'm warm, I'm feeling good, and a lot of people are feeling good as well out here at Arrowhead despite the frigid weather. Betsy Webster has been hanging out with some of these diehard fans in the parking lot, and she joins us live now with how folks are staying warm. Betsy. Well, hey, Ellen, I'm over in the gold lot. There are still some parking spaces here for the late arrivals. Not everybody's been tailgating or planning to tailgate for seven hours, but these guys got here about an hour ago and they have the tailgating routine down. Am I right, guys? Yes. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Jeez. Right. They came in from the Wichita area. I want to show you over here. They actually brought a fire pit. And when it comes to dressing warm, you'll notice that there's a lot of camo. I mean, this stuff is heavy duty enough for hunting, so it should do for tailgating. Uh, I think I've got three pairs of sweats on and then my insulated bibs and then a couple of hoodies. And that hat with lots of fur. The bomber. Yeah, it's nice. It's warm. Now, I've actually seen a lot of camo out here, not just these two guys. I mean, if uh, that's the warmest clothes you have, that's what you're going to wear. It doesn't have to be red and gold. Honestly, with the sun out right now, it is cold. But if you're bundled up like I am, you know, face mask and all, it is almost pleasant with the positive environment. But uh, I suspect it's going to get a little bit worse once the sun goes down and that game starts. Am I right, Ellen? Oh, absolutely, Betsy. Yeah, I mean, uh, definitely a positive environment out here right now. There's a lot of camaraderie. People are throwing the football in the parking lot. Uh, people are also passing out food, like pizza to stay warm, even bacon. You can come by the Founders Plaza and get a free piece of bacon uh, to maybe warm you up, too. So, again, a lot is going out here at Arrowhead right now. Uh, we want to talk, though, about the traffic because it will absolutely be a mess closer to game time as a lot of people try to come into the parking lot. Maybe they're getting off work. Maybe they're not coming to the game, but they're trying to get home from work. So we are keeping a close eye on the traffic situation around Arrowhead. And for more on that, let's go to KCTV 5's Emily Rittman. Emily. Hey, Ellen, right now we're on I-70 East and things are looking really good. We're moving right along. So it looks like a lot of bosses may have accepted Coach Andy Reid's note to get out of work a little bit early. We know that the gates opened up at noon, so it looks like a lot of people decided to get there as early as they could. So right now there are some backups on some off ramps going on onto the stadium. But as far as I-70, it's really pretty smooth going right now at the moment. Take a look at Chopper 5 video. Chopper 5 is at I-70 and 435, where it is also looking pretty good considering this is a Chiefs Raiders game. But a lot of people will be getting off work closer to five, so we're going to continue to keep an eye on this traffic for you and let you know just how it is heading through your commute. For now, back to you. All right, Emily, we'll check in with you a little bit later. Thank you so much. Now, again, we are talking about the weather. It is extremely cold out here, but the Chiefs are doing everything they can to make it a little bit more comfortable for fans who will be out here. The team officials are asking folks to bring a blanket when you do come out here, of course, dress in layers and the pro shop. So if you're out here early, the pro shop behind me is open. So that's kind of a nice place where you can go inside before the gates actually open for the stadium and warm up if you need to get warm. Remember, the Hy-Vee entrance also has heating units and several locations inside of Arrowhead will have hot food and drink items for sale. And while you're out here tonight or if you're about to head out here tonight, swing by the KCTV5 tent. 
We are, are passing out some free items for you. We're also passing out some KCTV5 eye blacks too. So come on out here to Founders Plaza, swing by our tent, get these free eye blacks. Say hi if you just want to say hi. We love to see you. All right, so Carolyn, I'm going to send it back to you for now, but we are going to be out here all evening up until game time, and we're just having a good time. Yeah, it's cold, but but it's a huge football game tonight, so we are really excited about that. For now, back to you.